Hello, my name is Luce Mongrain from l'Académie des Estacades in Trois-Rivières, Quebec. I am presenting in the series number three. I'll be explaining what we are doing to prevent, identify, and manage concussion in a sports school environment. Specifically, the topic of my presentation is Managing Concussion in a Sports-Based High School. Who am I? Like I said before, my name is Luce Mongrain. I'm the Head Sport Etude Coordinator. I have a Physical Education degree from McGill University. I am a Certified Level 3 Coach. I am presently a, a member of the Provincial Sport Etude Committee since uh, 2001 and I used to be on a national soccer team from 1987 to 1995. What is l'Académie des Estacades? That school is, is part of the Chemin du Roi School Board. We have a daily objective. The student athlete is always our first priority and we attempt to fulfill uh, the needs of that student athlete. L'Académie des Estacades is a public high school located between Montreal and Quebec City. I need to remind you that high schools in Quebec are from grade 7 to 11, so the age group that we are dealing with is from 12 to 17 years old. The student population is 1,616. We have 630 student athletes. We offer 26 different sports and we have approximately 80 coaches. The concept of a sport etude school is where the students go to school 65% of the time and they train 35% of the time. Next to our school, we have a 40 million sports complex, which includes a physiotherapy clinic and other services, as well as the doctor's office. What are we currently doing to prevent concussions in kids? We decided to educate the entire school staff as well as the coaches. We decided to educate the parents through conferences and information packages. Uh, we decided to distribute the return to learn protocol to our teachers. And we believe that if we try to educate all, all and talk to all, we should be successful. What are we currently doing to identify concussion in kids? We decided to have a designated sport coordinator to manage athletic injuries, including concuss concussions. So it's a focal point in our school, one main office. That person keeps a log of all concussions, date and period of injury. That person calls the parents, informs them and gives them the instruction. I'm putting the emphasis here on the first in instruction regarding resting. That person also sets up appointment with our doctor communicates the follow-up, and is also responsible for the return to school protocol in co collaboration with our academic coordinator. Also, we created a partnership with a doctor to receive an official diagnosis for a concussion. That person also performs follow-ups, gives the green light for the following step. Uh, I'm talking about re returning to school and then returning to sports uh, protocol. We also created a partnership with the physiotherapy clinic. Uh, these people use the SCAT2 because uh, the SCAT3 hasn't been translated as far as I know. Ensures quality follow-up. They do eval uh, postural evaluation and they do screening on a regular basis. What are we currently doing to manage concussion in kids? The physiotherapist, in collaboration with our doctor, established a specific step-by-step -step return to sport protocol for the majority of our sport with the help of the coaches. So the coaches had to give them specific steps regarding specifically their sport. So far, we've done 14 sports. The sport etude injury coordinator communicates with all adults associated with the student athlete, the parents, teachers, coaches, and that person keeps a, a log, a progression log. 
He also adapts schedule according to the student athlete needs. Could be regarding schooling, could be uh, regarding training, uh, the steps prior going back to training. We also recently developed a psychoeducational service for concussed student athletes that experience coping difficulties. We realize that for the kids that have a longer period of injury, some of them show signs of depression, anxiety, and pressure. What is working? We believe that our integrated structure makes a difference. Our multi-service platform, our shared vision with respect to the concussion issue, our holistic approach, and the multidisciplinary actors involved in the project. The greatest impacts, the school staff is helping. When they are uh, suspecting a concussion, they don't hesitate and br they bring in the, the student to our office. Targeting all the adults involved with the student athlete is a success story and having one person as the focal point makes a big difference. In progress, we're presently working on a new partnership with the Regional Health Department. We're ready to educate our students through the physical education classes starting September 2015. We're going to try to export this model or, or a similar one to the other schools of our school board or at a larger scale if it's possible. And we're working on a special agreement with the Regional Trauma Center to help the schooling system. What is not working? We need to continue educating the parents. We have a high staff turnover. It is hard to maintain a quality service in a cutback environment. People are looking for one fits all recipe. Too many people still minimize the importance of this issue. We need to develop a broad educational campaign. We need to be more efficient with the return to learn protocol. We need to develop better understanding for the teachers, but they are, however, cooperating. Students and parents, they need to follow the instructions while resting at home. This is a crucial part of it. What, are we, what am I hoping to get out of the symposium? Sharing information with a variety of fields. Finding new ways to improve our services to st our student athletes. Finding ways to encourage the schooling system to work with other fields. Finding more user-friendly information for our environment. And I want people to know that the school system needs the help of the other fields. Now that we know the negative effects of concussions on kids, we need to act responsibly. With greater knowledge comes greater responsibility. Thank you.